Sometimes we want a comforting voice that says everything will be okay, rather than to be confronted with harsh reality. And now we are on the knife's edge waiting for the slaughter and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. What the? was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No. It's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But big sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always given you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you're the hero. One can only hope to live up to that title. I've been playing soldier too long, and now I'm stuck in the role of Perseus while feeling like Andromeda. A village of women abandoned by their army and forced to take up the sword? Sounds like a story worth singing to me. I don't care what songs they sing of my deeds. I care about protecting my sister and my village. If it is to my dying breath, then so be it. I will fight. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right, but it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith, but his daughter is still here. What about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by, likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of La Lea. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metiaudusa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. And between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. I'll get to it. They tell me to make the weapons, but when you have them ask if I know how. Oh, who are you? A mercenary hired by the village magistrate. Oh, that explains why I don't know you. I'm Ethiadusa. Please don't tell me you need new weapons or armor. I don't, but the rest of the village does. Oh, that's worse. I thought you were the village blacksmith. Why are you so reluctant? I'm not the village blacksmith. My father is, and my brother is his apprentice. I just fetch wood when they need it. <sighs> now they all expect me to arm the village. Is there any way I can help? <sighs> I think Pater left the molds and tools nearby. But I need ore, and even then I might make something utterly useless. What kind of ore do you need? Any kind of ore will technically do, but... But? My pater used the legendary ore when making a dagger for my mother. It is called Aphrodite's ore. Sounds strange, but it's true. How did the ore get its name? The legend says Ephestos, god of the forge, found this ore and used it to make a helmet for his wife, Aphrodite. She loved it for its color. Because of that, the ore works in the hands of any smith. 
Where can I find the ore? It's hard to reach. It's down the cliffs at the Persian remnants in a secret cave just above the water. Sounds like you've been there before. I told you, I wasn't a smith. I was there to fetch what Pater needed. I'd go myself, but I need to hit up the kill. I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore. That must be the cave. I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite.
found the ore. Amazing. I'll ready the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor. But it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor? We can't kill bandits without weapons. We'll just have to hope their archers have poor aim. Yes, you're right! Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help. Ίσως ο χείρος παρεβίασε την οπίδα.